Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Looks, Girls, and Furs. My name is Leslie, and today we're going to be talking about Legends and Lattes. I was supposed to talk about this book during my um, December wrap up for 2022, but I just completely forgot. Um, I think I was just in the middle of making like all these different videos for the end of December, beginning of January, and I think I was talking about. I talked about this book during um, my best and worst stats segment <laughs> and I just, yeah, I forgot. So I just wanted to do justice to this little cozy book and um, talk about it. Apparently this is a book that is uh, big on TikTok. I wouldn't know. I don't have TikTok. It was floating around Instagram and I just thought the cover was so cute that I thought I'd pick it up. I've had a bit of um, a disappointment with other books that are in the romance genre or um, yeah just trying to find cozy reads and not really finding one that captures my interest or I don't like the story or the characters and so I ended up absolutely loving this book. Um, Legends and Lattes is about an orc named Viv and she's lived the adventurous, rough, violent life um, and so this takes place after that part of her life. Um, she decides that she saved up enough money and uh, decided that she's gonna go after her dream, uh, find a town that she wants to settle in, and um, and put her past behind her in a way uh, and start a coffee shop. So the book is not about some grand adventure. So if you look at the cover and you realize this is a bit of fantasy so you think you're gonna get some grand uh, fantastical adventure, that's not what this book is. It is just a cozy little read and I also I want to talk about everything that I loved about this book, but also I don't want to give the false impression, um, yeah, that anything grand happens in it, if that makes any sense. Um, so it really is just about the daily life of this person, Viv, who has like planned out what that second phase of their life is. And it's very much about, um, reinvention, um, I felt like it was also about not judging people by, you know, face value because um, although Viv doesn't want to be judged, she does have moments where she kind of has these preconceived notions about other people and then realizes, oh, I'm, I'm doing the same thing I don't want people to do to me. And so there's all these like really lovely little moments that are sprinkled throughout that can be very deep in a way. Uh, just the idea that Viv wants to build something up rather than tear it down is really beautiful. And so with all like these like very deep and beautiful moments, they're very like just sprinkled in, you know, it's not like a heavy handed book. Again, it's it's meant to be like a cozy read. So you get to see how um, not only does Viv uh, like build up this cafe um, in a village where no one even knows what coffee is. Um, she makes friends along the way, um, allies, people that are very much like in the same boat as her in a way, and really learns how to connect with the community. And with a character that's so tough, uh, Viv has to learn um, to accept the vulnerable parts of herself and and really figure out how to um, ask for help. Uh, there are other characters, oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember their names. Tandri, I couldn't remember the character's name. Um, there's a character, Tandri, that um, is one of the people that comes on board um, to be like an assistant to Viv. And there's also a character by the name of a thimble that uh, becomes the baker and so I think this kind of reminds me of 
um, Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, just the idea that like a community comes together. There is a slight uh, conflict that happens in the story because <laughs> they have to move along the story somehow. But ultimately, um, although there is uh, an issue or a conflict that could easily turn into um, some violent adventure of uh, Viv's past, what the story really tackles is Viv looking at a situation and trying to figure out, well, how do I handle this now that I'm not going to use um, violence as as a way to try and solve things. So that's the conflict that goes on. It's more of an inner conflict rather than some grand adventure. And I absolutely loved it. There is a very light romance. And I really loved that it, the story wasn't uh, heavy on romance. I'm not a huge romance fan. I think I'm just like too picky about how the storylines go. And I really um, appreciated how the story didn't uh, rely on romance to be um, an easy way to like solve a, a plot or, or, or like to become a resolution and I, I really like that. So apparently there's gonna be a sequel to this book. I can't wait. I'm gonna read it and again I think I'm having a really difficult time like trying to talk about this book and not wanting to overhype it. Um, it was just quintessential cozy read that I really enjoyed um, when I read this past December and I look forward to reading like more books in that. I, I would really like at some point to designate December as like a cozy reading month. I think that would be really nice. So if any of you have read this let me know what you think. Let me know what your um, favorite characters were. As someone that just loves eating pastries and sweets. I enjoyed the evolution of um, the cafe <laughs> and just talking about all the different like recipes. Um, just uh, seeing this character develop um, their cafe. Yeah, it was cute. I loved it. And let me know what you think. Um, I guess I'll see you later.